This is Mommy's show thing for goodwill and everything you can do. Uh huh. You are, you're right, Mom. So she's going to show some awesome things, even my stuffy rubble, to give to goodwill for other kid. Yep. But I'm going to show you what rubble looks like. It's from Paw Patrol. And do you, I don't know what color he is. Don't tell him, then, Mom. I won't. Okay. So I went to the bins yesterday, which was Thursday. Uh-huh. And I'm going to show everyone what I got. Wait, you forgot my swimsuit. Oh, go get it. Go get it. Okay, so a few things. I got actually quite a bit of things for myself or others in my family. I found a pair of, like, old L.L. Bean um, pants that were just it. cut off. Um, so, we'll see. I can't find it. Oh, is it up in... Is it up in your, um, is it up in the bathroom? And you're taking a bath? You could go check there. No, okay. I saw it down here. Okay. I got a couple shirts for my nephews. Uh, I found this cute little Hannah Anderson one with mountains. And then this little crew cuts. That's so cute, it will fit me. It's so cute. Um, okay, then I'll just get into Oh, I got this for me. Okay, this is kind of random. This brand is called Rugged Mountain or something. Jagged Edge Mountain Gear. But I just thought, look at the collar. I just thought this was really cute. It's a fleece. I'm going to wash it, obviously. But big buttons. Here's what the stuffies are in. Okay, perfect. I'll show those at the end, okay? The no. grand finale. The grand finale. Ooh, I don't know if I meant to buy these. <laughs> I was trying to get to 25 pounds. I don't even know. Vervet blue. These are probably like... You have to say sweat when you need my sweat. Okay. So these are just like a stretchy, high-waisted pair of jeans and a 27. We'll see. Um, These. Oh, I got this Chico's Zenergy Squirt in like a size 2. So it's um got like... Cute little pleat pleating on the sides. And packets, which is always good. Um, I found this Parkhurst brand. Um, it's made in Canada, 64% cotton. It's like a wrap. I looked up the photos of it and it's really, actually really cool. So you, it has this little thing right here and you kind of feed the fabric through and it's very like artsy, avant-garde kind of look. Um, I found a pair of black milk leggings. These are a, these are like leggings that are kind of fun um, prints. This one's like a metallic red. You have to say sweat. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, I found a men's uh, blazer. It's a very cool textured blue blazer it's a 44 regular i don't know a whole lot about men's suiting thank you oh goodness and it's um it's the brand theory it's a very nice blazer really kind of cool lightweight um men's blazer i also found a couple of men's like these look to be vintage um wool hats um you can give that hat to me okay well these are okay I, I just, I haven't washed them yet or sanitized them yet, honey. So I want to be careful. So this one is Dobbs, New York. And it says Dobbs Fifth Avenue, 50% wool, 50% lamb's wool. It appears to be like pretty vintage, kind of a cool hat. No, then, it's a cowboy hat. Oh, it's a cowboy hat. And then I found this um, Pendleton one. That's kind of a cool style. Here's the other one for the show. It's, it's the Stuffies. Okay, let's clothes. take a stuff, stuffy break. Uh -huh. So, Clara donated three stuffies to Goodwill. Should we show which ones you did? This all cute avocado. Rubbly yellow! And then... <gasps> Not the lion! Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. You forgot. Hi. 
as our donation. Okay, I'm gonna keep showing stuff on the on the camera, okay? Okay. 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 Mommy's clothes on again. Okay. I found two of these. These are um sweating clothes. These are a Sundance oh, yeah. style shirt and it's kind of like this wrap style. I think it's called the um I've sold what? one of these before. <laughs> I've sold one of these before. I think it's called the <laughs> I don't remember. But they're both size large, so I found this one in kind of like a... Do you need some sweat? Like a burgundy. Do you need some sweat now? Yeah, can you wipe the sweat off of me? Thank you. Um, thank you. So I found that one, and then I found another one. Uh, I found a little pair of Tory Burch uh, flats. They're kind of... I mean, they're worn, but they still are in, like, really great shape. They're size 8. They're just like the little um, ballet flats kind of a suede. I found a, I'm really excited about this because I've sold this brand before. Hey, careful. Um, this is a brand that is sold at Nordstrom, I believe. It's a brand of hat that's called a Helen Kaminsky. And these are just very nice, like sun hats. Um, oh, they're the decoration sun hats. Mm -hmm, decoration sun hats. Yeah. So, um, I'll look this one up and see, but I've sold a Helen Kaminsky hat in the past, and I think I sold it for near $100 for, like, yep. a little straw hat. Um, yeah, you I found this beautiful silk scarf. Um, Let me teach you what Echo, I mean. and it's like just this beautiful floral pattern. Uh-huh. This was a cool find. Clara Jane, hey. It needs hey. a little sweat, too. Okay, okay, but I'm trying to show the, show the things, Okay. <laughs> I found a basically brand new, in perfect condition, um, Dunian, Dunian Bork purse. And it's um, sort of a mustard yellow with this really cute scalloped leather yeah. edge. It's in really nice shape inside. Just a cute little, it's got this little charm on it. Just a really cute little oh, can I tote see? bag. Yeah, but I want to be careful with this and not get it dirty, okay? okay. I also found this cute little orange backpack. The brand is Konomo London. Um, it's the mini Beauchamp bag. Um, again, it's in like great condition, cute little backpack. Um, two zippers here on the front and a little leather strip in here. Very, very cute little bag. Um, I also found a little leather change purse thing from Hobo. It's got a couple little marks on it, but um, I also thought the interior color was really cute. Let's see if I can open it. Um, I can. I can. Oh, oh, okay. So inside it's green. So cute. It's like Robin's egg. Um, I found um I found an American Giant uh hoodie, zip up hoodie in a size large. I don't know if American Giant does well anymore. I think I have a one or two things listed in my closet that haven't really have just kind of been sitting. But it's just a very nice hoodie, very thick, heavy duty. My dad can wear that. I was gonna say, daddy might want it. I found this, um, this is kind of an older style, but it was so cute, I couldn't pass up getting it. It's this brand Tabitha, which is sometimes sold, I know, at Anthropology, And it's just this little, like, um, eyelet fabric, and ruffle it's front blazer. It's giving Chanel. You, you can give it to me if you want. I can? Mm -hmm. I think it might be a little big on you, but. No, no, I'm not going to wear it. Oh, but you I'm just. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, okay. Um, I found a Vineyard Vines flannel. Is this for me? 100% cotton. It's a size XL18. I, I wonder if this is kids. It might be kids, but there's the little whale. If honestly, size 18, if this fits me, I might just keep it, but it's super cute. In your vines. <laughs> look how cute you are. Um, I found this sweater. I don't really know the brand of it, but look how cute it is. Um, it's for me when I'm old. Okay, yeah. I looked up the brand Delicate Love. Yeah. Delicate, delicate love. I'm gonna be a sister. It's super I'm cute. I don't know. It, maybe even if it's even a, just a little boutique brand, I just thought it was cute. Here's the next one in mind, the last one. <laughs> um, I found this really nice um, knit Vince sweater. 
Um, it needs to be washed. It's got a couple like marks on it, but it's just really nice, like kind of a light, lighter weight, looser knit blue uh, vent sweater. I found this, which I know this brand probably doesn't resell for much. It's called River Island. Um, it's a size 18 and it's this really cute uh, dress with these really cute like tassel -y details. Um, at the end, it's kind of a midi length, uh, really cute, like satiny material, adorable. Uh, I got a cabby sweater. I probably won't list this till the fall. It's just a cabby size XL, um, kind of a wrap, like asymmetrical wrap sweater. It's very nice, it's heavy. Um, really nice little black and white sweater. I got a vintage, um, made in the USA Broncos t-shirt. Uh, it's single stitch. I, yeah, single stitch. So I know that's something. And yeah, really cool. If you're a Broncos fan. You're so silly. <laughs> you're silly. I got a pair of Desigel jeans. You know, Desigel is like kind of a European designer brand. They're very odd. Uh. <laughs> you are a silly goose. Look at the, look at the buckle on this. It's a beautiful Ooh. ruby. Wait, I don't see it. It's a jewel. Anyways, hold on. I want to show them the back. So they're like super embroidered. They're a skinny leg. I don't know. They might not be worth anything. I just thought they were kind of interesting. Can I look at them? Yeah. These pants that she had just had on her head are really cool. These are really <laughs> soft. They're a Pima cotton. Um, these are Peruvian connection. It's a collab with Caf Cafe Facet. Um, and they're like a pajama pant. Really cute pattern. And I'd say fairly oversized. Like they're an extra small, but they're pretty mm. oversized. I found these new with tags, um, mm -hmm. vibrant MIU jeans. So here's what the tag looks like. They're a size seven. So I think they're like junior sizing. So button fly, um, dis destroyed, distressed, whatever denim, raw hem, um, definitely like a flared leg uh pants they're super cute and size seven here's the next first one yes um i found, uh -huh. found a, mm -hmm. i found a pair of uh sandro i know this is a expensive designer uh, men's pants these are a size 36 or equivalent to i think a us like 28 so very little um men's like these are a, a drawstring elastic waist pant um, with some like flat front and kind of a slim leg, straight slim leg. Um, but these are very nice pants. I mean, Sandro Paris, I mean, these probably retail for three, 300, 400 bucks. Uh, I found a swimming suit top, a Prana swimming suit top that I actually didn't mean to buy because I was going to buy this for myself, but I think it's a size large, which is, oh, it's a medium. Maybe it will fit me. Um, just a nice, like basic swimming suit top, but if it doesn't fit me, I might just list it for very little. <laughs> it's a nice swimming suit top. Um, okay. Getting down to the end here. I found a J Jill linen, um, size extra large tunic. Very, very pretty with like the pleating. And um, yeah, the detailing there, and also a very cute like layout or um, detailing in the back as well. Linen is always good. You're so goose. This is another thing I didn't really look up or mean to buy, but now that I'm looking at it, it's really interesting. It's by this brand called Yushi, um, and it's like a vest uh, situation, and it's very interesting. And I doubt I'll be able to find any stock photos of this, but I might be able to style it interestingly on like a mannequin. I don't know. It's, it's actually really interesting, really cool piece. Uh, I found this jacket, the brand, this is the brand. And it looks like it's on the real real and sites like that. Um, I'll try to show you the style of it. It's like a cropped, kind of a bomber style jacket. Um, it's listed as a size four. I don't know. 
I couldn't find any stock photos of it, but I did confirm that this brand is somewhat of a designer brand. Um, so yeah, kind of a cropped style little jacket. Uh, this is just a little Madewell gingham top with bell sleeves. Um, very cute. Kind of a cropped bye. style. Very cute. Bye bye. Ooh, this is really stunning. And if this was my size, I might end up keeping it. But it's one of those, this is one of those shirts that I'd probably have and I'd never wear. This is a We The Free, uh, I believe it's a size large, definitely off the shoulder style um, shirt. But look at these sleeves. Aren't they fun? I found the stock photos of this and it's just stunning on. Like absolutely just gorgeous. Really pretty sleeves, and it's just like a really nice stretchy jersey knit um, fabric. Let's see what this, oh, I found this um, cabby size large. Um, it's in great condition. It's got some hairs on it from the rug here, but um, little topper, I think they call this a topper, and uh, it's very cute. The buttons are sort of like a matte black, smooth matte black. Just a very nice, very, very soft cotton piece. I found this um, New With Tags North Face Waffle Knit hoodie. Uh, this is called the, what did I decide? The Shabbat Chabot hoodie in boysenberry. It's like a nice hooded, just long sleeved hooded um, North Face. Uh, thing there. Here's the other Sundance, the other Sundance top that I got in gray. It's that sort of like crisscross wrap style situation. I'm just gonna show this and then we're almost done. Uh, and then I got this Talbot's. This is a little bit dated, but ugh, I can't handle this cute style. It's just, it's a medium petite. It's just a very cute, like nautical, um, style shirt buttons up the back this really cute collar it's a talbot's uh size medium petite just very cute very like again nautical and then last but not least i got a uh, just a little marine layer tank i honestly probably wouldn't have picked this up but it's in basically like brand new condition and i'm a sucker for mint green always have been. It's a size large, just kind of a muscle tee style, kind of like what I've got going on, but I have really broad shoulders, so muscle tees just look like a normal tank top on me because I'm built tough. Uh, so yeah, this is a yeah little marine layer. So yeah, that was my haul. I hit, I think I hit 29 pounds, which was thrilling because the last time I was like at 22, so I ended up paying Double, like I said, the Portland bins are one of the higher price points at like I think two seventy nine a pound. But if you go over twenty five pounds, I think it drops down to about a buck fifty nine. So always good if you can to hit that uh, twenty five pound mark. So that's what I got, and uh, pretty pretty thrilled about it. So, anyways, that's all. Bye bye.